Hello and welcome to another episode of Anime Splash. I'm Neil Trotter. I'm Ricky Morris. Alright, on Anime Splash what we do is we look at the first three episodes of an anime and then we determine based off of those first three episodes whether or not we want to continue watching the rest of the show. So this episode we checked out this show called Magi. Uh, <laughs> or pronounced Maggie in the anime. I guess Ricky will go ahead and uh, cover the plot. Okay. All right. So uh, this anime uh, is uh, takes on the the same theme of uh, Arabian Nights. It has uh, you know characters like Aladdin and Alibaba and uh, whatnot. But it, uh, the, but um, aside from the theme and the theme of the, themes of the characters, it pretty much is the similarities just sort of end there. Uh, so they actually uh, made up their own plot for this one. And uh, here it's like uh, Aladdin is this boy with uh, magical powers, and um, you know he's uh, traveling around the desert and whatnot. And um, you know he meets up with uh, with Alibaba, and you know he you know and they you know become friends, and they decide to uh, you know go into to this place called the dungeon, which is said to house like incredible treasures and whatnot. And they. Uh, you know, they go there and inside the dungeon, and um, and at some point, uh, going through there, when they get to the end, um, Aladdin learns that he is called a magi, uh, which is someone that uh, chooses like who gets to be king, uh, and you know, guides the said person into becoming a, a ruler and whatnot. And um, after that, they I guess they just go on to have more adventures. Yeah. So it was very uh, straightforward, uh, not too complicated plot, I think. And just to tell you up front, overall, I thought it was pretty good anime. I thought it was a pretty decent. Um, it's got a lot of adventure, and the themes are very positive. It's got some nice positive themes. It's one of those positive animes. You got the theme of friendship. You know what friends have to offer each other and what they do to motivate each other and I mean they also got a huge theme in here about uh, creating your own path and then creating your own destiny and not letting society or somebody else define who you are and that's really big in this anime and those are good things to go off of you know it's, it's you're definitely um, not fighting an uphill battle you're you know you got a lot to work with with that but one of the best, basically the, 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 the strongest point of this anime that I thought was really good was the, this particular kind of anime style. And I was telling Ricky earlier was, was that I wish they would kind of, maybe they do have the names for these kind of different styles. Yeah. Uh, because the, I remember we reviewed, we, I was telling him we, we had went over JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And I've seen many anime with that particular style of anime, uh, of animation. And this is another example of a, an, an anime with this uh, it's a particular style. And this is the one I really like. Um, and if you know, if you know the styles or this particular style, there's like names for these things. That'd be cool if you could post that on the comment section so we could get educated. But this particular style, I really like. One of the reasons is because it's, it's very fluid. Like it's. You know, people are very morphous, <laughs> I guess, and a lot of uh, very agile. And I mean, you know, people aren't really that stiff. You know, so you got a lot of fluid motion, and also people are very expressive. And there's a lot of body movement showing their expressions. And and also one of uh, another good thing I like about it is uh, I try I was trying to struggle to find a word. I'm just going to use the word minimalistic. The way they kind of describe emotions or you know scenarios through you know the emo emotion basically is that they just kind of simplify their body <laughs> or like you know for example if somebody's eating a lot and they feel like bloated they're easy it's gonna look like a big blown up balloon it's gonna be very just very simple fat <laughs> you know, fat guy or whatever or you know somebody's really surprised or disturbed 
you know, the face is going to be really big and it's going to be a round circle with two dots and then that's it, maybe a sweat mark, you know, that type of thing. Uh, and I think it plays very well with this, the story of this anime. And I think it is just really beautiful. Another thing was the uh, lighting I thought was good because they got a lot of sunsets because they're in the desert a lot so you, the sun is all, all over the place. Even when they're in the dungeons, they got a lot of um, shadows and they, they do some good work with that. So animation in this anime is, is pretty good, I think. It's kind of above average, in my opinion. And that's really what got me hooked. The themes are good, the, the characters, they're nice. Uh, really, it's the themes that kind of do it for me. The characters are okay. Uh, yes, like Ricky said, the Aladdin is nothing like the Aladdin I know from, from Disney. But, you know, it's a different take. You know, he has magical powers and things like that. And he's like a little boy. Uh, which, uh, was he a little boy? So, are you? It was like a, like, I'm going off of Disney here, so, bear with me, but, um, in the movie it was like, I guess, like, early 20s, maybe late teens. On the like, Disney. Like, yeah. like, just like young adults. I wonder, um, are you familiar with the Arabian Nights? Because I know there's a whole story. Uh, I, yeah, I know, I, I, I watched, like, um, a movie adaptation of that, and I remember him just being, like, a young adult. There. Oh, he's a young adult, so he's not a little child like he is in this show. Okay. <laughs> so well, nowhere near as young as this episode. Well, there it is. <laughs> so, they do have genies, and the other word they use for genies is you know, gin, which I've heard that word before. Uh, and they got the magic carpets and all that. So, it's another. Magic turban. Oh, yeah, it is a magic turban. But, so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, there was another scene where somebody was flying on something. That was that a turban or a carpet? That, that was a carpet. Yeah, so they got they got magical flying. <laughs> yeah. So they, in terms of the theme, it's a good theme to go off of. It's kind of cool. I I kind of like it. <laughs> so they do that that with give them good justice. But of course, they got throwing the anime um, tropes in here, which which is probably in my opinion only negative is that kind of thing. Um, it it kind of they use this Arabian theme. I think anime has kind of a, a is one of the issues of anime. They use themes of other cultures or you know just other stories, but then they throw in these anime typical things that they do in all anime. And kind of just you know, it's not so much awkward, just kind of like yeah, out of it, place. Yeah, it just really stands out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, okay. And that'll be kind of based on my only negative thing, but I'm sure most people would think that's a positive because you know if you're an anime fan and you you gotta see that stuff right, to be you know, accepting of this as an anime, I guess I don't know, but that'll be my only thing. Let's see if I have anything else here. So the other thing that really interested me was the relationships between the different characters. So. Um, the characters themselves, although they do got some backgrounds and they're mysterious, you can tell, you know, they, they use the flashback thing. And the main character, Alibaba, he's um, got a past. Uh, and I guess that's a little interesting, I don't know. Um, I wasn't too good. And then in Aladdin, he, he kind of has a past. And then they also got this girl they threw in. Um, those are the three main characters of the first three episodes. And they have a past. But really, it's more so. I'm not really interested in the, the characters themselves so much so that I'm in, in, more interested in their relationship like um, uh, Aladdin, he, so for some reason he's really desperate for friendship and Alibaba needs a friend too really bad as he, you know, he, I don't think he knows that at first but then he kind of realizes it later. So you got two people who really desperately need friendship and then they discover how having a friend, you know, a legitimate sincere friend how that helps you out in adventures, you know, not, you know, using somebody for taking advantage of somebody, just doing something nice for somebody just because they're your friend. <laughs> and, you know, they kind of highlight why that's good and all the benefits that go with that. And uh, I like, I'll, I'd be interested to see how that grows. And also there's this girl character who's a slave and um, at starting out and then it turns out she changes her, the, her life situation. So, and then, but now she's got this slave mentality. So how is that gonna um, change over time? And how is these two Aladdin and Alibaba, they're her friends now, possibly. I don't know, that's my guess. 
and how's that going to change her outlook on life? These are at least some very interesting things that I would like to uh, see develop, and I think that's kind of what makes this show. But yeah, that's about pretty much my take on this anime. It's pretty good. I would definitely continue watching it if um, this this would be one of the anime I would continue watching for sure. What about you? Um, definitely. Like, I would also continue watching it. I just like the, um, you know, the adventure aspect they go on. So you know, they have all these dungeons. And there's multiple ones, and um, there, there's this other dude like uh, that's apparently also a man. So maybe him and Aladdin will clash at some point. And um, you know, so and you know, it has some pretty good action in there too. And it's like as you said about the animation, you know, it flows really well. And, the action scenes are, you know, you know, they're pretty fluid, you know, for you know, this type of thing. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. I'm just more interested in the adventure aspect of it. Really. Yeah, that's another good thing about this anime. It's got a really good sense of adventure, which is that's the the, the tale of the Arabian Nights. They were all about adventure, so that's cool. They got that correct in here. So, I mean, you know, you, you, you end each episode like, oh, I wonder what they're going to end up doing next. <laughs> so, have that kind of feel, which is great. So, that sense of adventure is, is pretty, uh, a huge positive for this anime. Uh, that's it. <laughs> you know, last words. Or, it's all good. Uh, so, don't always forget, don't always, um, <laughs> Always remember, you can always comment on our, you know, the YouTube page or the channel. Uh, just, you know, if you got some thoughts or you want to have a discussion, that's cool. Just comment. Uh, you can also subscribe to our channel and we, we, you know, hit us up on the Facebook and, and uh, we even got Twitter. It's all there on the, the links are all, all there on our YouTube on the, you know, the little descriptions on the bottom. So you know, it's, uh, it's cool to see people participate and also if you want to uh, recommend an anime for us to watch, you know, we've watched a few that people have recommended and they've all been good so far, <laughs> so uh, that would be cool. Until next episode, thanks for watching, this is Anime Splash. Happy holidays.